Hey guys, welcome back to Augustine 9 included Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are back in the rock full of brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space. And last time we were expanding a little hydrogen uh, production facility down here. And I have to tell you, it's not enough. It's not enough. That, uh, that's very embarrassing. We, we, we need to go through. We need to build some more. Now, I could. I could go through. In fact, I've been watching this for a couple of cycles and that, that's how I know it's not enough. Look, 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 we got things without power over here. I could go ahead and try and build myself a little bit of a solar plant up the top here. We don't have that much glass here. It is coming through. Where, where is it? Glass. Even though we produce it on this little planetoid here, uh, down the bottom, in fact, this is where we produce our glass right here. But we send most of it over straight away to our central hub planet over here. And you can see that the glass we have here, 24 tons. 24 tons is quite a lot of glass. Uh, and I'm going to just send a little bit of it back. I don't know whether we're in a loop manufactured material glass thank you very much and we'll come over to reverse then and make sure that we do not as i say send these things around in an infinite loop turn that off brilliant right okay so that's something that we're going to do another thing that i'm going to do we're coming over to irrigal irrigal is on the verge of breaking into nuclear power unfortunately we're waiting for the steam and for the steam to happen we need to get reversed Whoa, clicking the wrong things we need to get reversed in up and running because look this is where we make our steel as well uh the sand down below we make iron then steel it all comes together as a beautiful little system here to uh, to make some manufactured materials but this is the place without the power so we need to make the power oh it's it's, it's a hideous hideous self-referential system here i'm going to uproot all these three sets Saturn critter traps. These are how we are currently producing all of this hydrogen that we have available to us up here. Uh, so we're, we're going to uh, actually turn these ones off. I don't want anything that's go going through here. And then I do believe Saturn critter trap. There we go. We're just sending that. That is the only thing we're going to be sending through. Uh, and this is going back. Uh, I, I can show you here. It goes to reversing. And reversing is, of course, the planetoid where we're producing everything. It's, it's almost like everything comes back down to getting this planetoid up and running again and so that's what we're doing we're, we're going to get this place up and running it is going to take a little bit of finagling like for instance this whole coal generation system is going to have to move somewhere else so that we can expand this out towards the uh, the pit branch not the pit the uh, the stone hatch branches over here I mean, we are we are producing some power but but it is just just some power so we, we need to make more lots more that might be a little bit diff difficult. We've, we've got a lot of stuff here that needs to move. It's not going to be the end of the world, but where are we going to put the coal generator? I'm thinking somewhere maybe up here or over this side. This this whole power transformer system here goes up and powers this system, so it's, it's a bit of a knotty mess around here. And this is, of course, one of the problems with uh, long-term oxygen not included. Uh, you, you get spaghetti messes, and you, you need to try and figure them out. And, yeah, we we'll, we'll, We'll get that, we'll get that. So I've got the coal generator up here to be close to the coal production facility. That's what these stone hatches make. They eat all sorts of stuff and then uh, spew out a little bit of coal here. We put the coal into the generator. But you know what? I, th I think I think we can actually get away quite safely by moving this uh, down, down below here. We've got a little area that consumes carbon dioxide, so that should work out well for us. What is the carbon dioxide flow doing right now? It's It's slow, but it's getting there. It's getting there. One of the problems with trying to move seeds from a place where there are lots of pips is the pips like to grab them and replant them. You saw me try and dig these things up. Yes, we've already tried to dig these things up. And these guys will come along and uh, nab it in their mouths and try and replant. So I've had to turn up the uh, the priorities on this conveyor loader. I've had to make it an absolute emergency's worth of priority here. Did that get but did that get ripped up or did that not? It says it's got an auto up root, but it's not it's not working. And uh, honestly, it'd be nice to get rid of all the hydrogen that we've been building up here this uh, this pump doing a valiant valiant job trying to feed it into the hydrogen generator of course sending it back to the other planetoid would be a beautiful way of doing that but that's not what why is Plagolia wait we've got a problem here what is it breathability but also a yellow thing wait what what's going on oh no oh no it's been holding up for so long and now my my aluminium volcanoes just popped Oh no, why is this? So we, we've been overheated. Ah, oh, oh, I mean, 
Yeah, yeah, Swan Levitt's still damaged from the last time, I think. Okay, well, I mean, we'll be getting in there to get that. We, uh, make this conveyor loader, maybe, uh, make this, sorry, um, temperature shift plate. Uh, and it, it's just too close, unfortunately, but to be able to pick up everything, it needs to be that close. And then it's also, ah, uh, I know the big problem here, is it's probably picking up the super hot aluminium. Yeah, mmm. We need to swap this switch for a temperature control. All right, I'm crazy. You can't stop me. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get in there. We're gonna rip these tiles down. I'm gonna rip this signal switch down. I'm going to uh, get a thermo sensor in place. Ideally a steel or a tungsten one. It's gonna have to be steel, I think. Uh, and once that has been ripped down, and maybe someone's gonna replace the auto sweeper. We'll see what happens with that. I, I really feel like aluminium should be. Hey, what, what, what are you doing? Oh, you're picking up steel. That's good. We do have an atmospheric suit here that we could make someone wear, but I think for the moment we're doing okay. Look, it's the, this aluminium in the background is 300 degrees and the conveyor loader can only go up to 200, uh, 275. So that is the problem there. Radio, uh, sorry, automation. Get the, uh, the, the, the thermo sensor in place and hopefully now people are going to be fixing that. Okay, Goddard's having a bad... Uh, uh, okay, bye, bye. I thought Goddard was going to be doing that. He, he had a bad time delivering the steel. We've had to hit red alert because night time's come, as, as is always the way. Night time comes along and absolutely ruins my day. Hopefully Swan Levitt can get this pit built before they take enough damage to, uh, to have some troubles here. Uh, we're just going to have that thermosensor 200 degrees, I think, if, a, if, a, if above or below 200 degrees, then you can turn on. Okay, let's do that. If below 200, so that should now be doing nothing. It, I mean, it, it didn't, but okay. So the thermo sensor is very different from what temperature the aluminium is. Yeah, that, that makes sense as well. It'd be nice to get more temperature around. Well, this is gonna be something that we keep checking back on over the next couple of episodes. Hopefully that has done a thing. I'm not. I'm. I'm not holding my breath though. Anyway, back on here, gal. How, how, we got. We got this done. I, th I think. Oh, day, daytime's here. I dislike daytime as well. <laughs> okay, we turn this off because that alarm is driving me crazy. Look, look. They real picked. Ah, oh, even with the alarm on. They. Oh. Ah. Well, let, let's go again. Uh, as I was saying, the pips do like to replant stuff and if you don't get it into the conveyor loader as quick as possible whoa, you, you're gonna have a bad time a bad bad time okay here comes Chandra to get stuff done hopefully M maybe any moment now 22 kilos of hydrogen in the house uh, uh, do pips produce extra hydrogen compared to the uh, the grub grubs or something I feel like there's just like always, always a bunch of uh, hydrogen in here, and we're 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 chewing through it. We're chewing through it. No, no, no. stop it, stop it. <laughs> of course, what really needs to happen is we bring this down to zero, and then people will wrangle these back up to this way. Uh, this, this is where we want our pits put in the very cold area, so they eventually, unfortunately pass from the temperature let's let's have a look what property we've we got here temperature 11 degrees and they uh, they have a bad time at minus 30 uh, and the liquids down here are minus 100 so you know may, maybe they'll get there eventually are we gonna do it all right spitzer got it spitzer got it good good work good work we can we can turn everything back down to regular priorities now Back on reversing with the lava and the uh, materials production. The coal generator has got set up. We've ripped down a bunch of stuff up top here. Uh, what is this providing power to? This power gen transformer here needs to move. This is not an appropriate place for it uh, because we want to expand this little hydrogen production facility or you know satin critter trap farm if you want to be so crass about it out this way what, what where are you oh you're picking this draco up interesting i didn't even know that was there that was just oh, oh missed it that was just overspill uh okay let, let's deconstruct because that's that's not going to be a thing we need <laughs> Okay, so I've been moving some stuff around. I've now got another power transformer up the top, so we can go ahead and just get rid of all of this, including this guy right here. Great. Uh, I've also had to move the uh, the cooling loop out because it was warming the door up to 30... Well, this door actually was the one it was warming up, up to 38 degrees. Uh, and as these uh, 
uh, Saturn critter trap need to exist below zero. 38 degrees, I don't know if you're aware, is a little bit above zero. So we're, we're gonna try and uh, not let that influence. So we took it out and made it all insulated around the outside. Uh, got ourselves a bit more water line in place and I'm now putting down a more hydrogen line and trying to figure out how I'm gonna get this stuff into the line. That's that's not going to be enough, but it is a good start. I suppose now is probably the time to rip down this intervening wall. Going through and using the, the deconstruct order on individual tiles because there's, there's bound to be stuff back here that I don't want to destroy. Actually, as it turns out, this time there wasn't. But if I just use the uh, the, the, the the X key here and deconstruct, I, I've, I've chewed through power systems, I've gone through water lines, I like many, many times has that led me to troubles. So I'm not going to do that this time. Okay, so we got some hydrogen moving. How about if we uh, ask for a little bit more to be delivered as well? I don't know how much more we're going to need. I just know it's definitely going to be... Ooh, look at that chunky little uh, simulation run there. Uh, I just know it's going to be needing to be more than what we've got here. Yeah, the, these five blobs are not going to fill up this amount. Thankfully, we, we just now need to just leave this ticking over. It will just pick up little bits of hydrogen as we go. This does produce its own power, but... But uh, I believe it's not isolated from the group, so it should be able to. Yeah, there we go. That's that's where it go, uh, picks up power from. So that should be fine. Question mark? We'll find out. We'll find out. Another thing that we're going to do is uh, rip down this little uh, connecting wall here. A different connecting wall from the one we ripped down, uh, what that was here. I decided like we needed to move out a little bit further. One for the critter drop off. I completely forgot that we would need to do the, the uh, critter drop off. I don't know why. That, that was kind of silly of me because it is the whole purpose of this is to be able to get rid of critters. Uh, and then the uh, the next thing, the uh, extra space I needed here was to move this weasel. That, that's what I want to do. I want to move the weasel. Uh, I also want to know whether we've got any deliveries been made of the... No, not not yet. Let, let's go see what's going on. We've got an entombed warning over here, but I don't think that's the problem. Uh, what is the problem? Uh, just sheer mass of material to be moving on. Okay, well, Hubble, Hubble is dealing with it slowly. Ever so slowly. We've got the three new seeds in place, and they're actually mostly chill enough. The farm tile that they're in actually is holding somewhere about six degrees. That's not ideal. I'd like them to be at zero degrees. The hydrogen coming in at a more and more chill temperature every time, though. We're still leaving at three degrees, but that is slowly being, as you can see now, it's now 2.9 degrees. That's slowly being pulled down. Once this all reaches a nice chilly zero degrees centigrade, uh, we should have a view. Beautiful time. Let's have a look and see what we've got going here. Five degrees. Five degrees. We're so close. So, so close. Okay, so this system just needs to be left on its own for a little bit. we just got to drop the temperature down. That shouldn't be too hard. Uh, something else I want to do whilst we're here. We've been looking at this side of the map for a little time now. And I think maybe we can start busting up and, uh, if I come into the power, put down a few solar solar panels at the top here. That will probably help with uh, sustainable power. Uh, I'm going to do it via this way. Uh, we, we don't really, if I'm to be honest with you, have... The the materials to do this properly as you can see we've just run out of copper uh, copper ore there but happy days we've got we got ourselves a little bit of a hidden load down here so if we get our duplicates down here to dig this out that would be great there's also all of this that we can dig uh, and this bit here this bit I think we can actually take out there's no no sentimentality here but th this this area here I don't know we, we've got some two um, wild planted oxy ferns here uh, I, i'm not sure if we want to dig all of this up the sandstone can stay the sandstone can stay uh what what we do need to build is these power lines up here uh, i'm also going to in fact let's press f2 so we can see just just completely wipe this bit out this is this is all superfluous to needs at the moment uh and indeed this battery and transformer and the uh, heavy watch joint plate well, we've had another random attack. Oh, look, there, there goes the bees. We've had another random attack. Chandra got attacked by the bees. I don't I don't know why they're angry sometimes. Oh, look, look, angry sometimes, but not others. I, I am very, very unsure. I think it's something to do with the fact that there's no uranium available. 
for them? I, I, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But people are going through and getting all of our uh, enriched uranium done. That, that's, that's really cool. Really cool. I, I hope the bees stay chill again. I know that they are supposed to be angry and really we're supposed to have lead suits on and stuff like that. I, I think, I think there are things we can be doing, but I've just, I got comfortable with the bug. I'm going to say the bug that meant that they didn't attack you. Uh, and, and now, now that's not how it is. So we'll, we'll have to change our playstyle at some point. Franklin getting along and doing uh, th this much heavy wire. That it's not, it's not a great deal, but it's uh, enough. Uh, also rerouting a little bit of the power systems here with uranium ore. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that. <laughs> Okay, 10 minutes later and we have power running up here. Let's ignore the fact the uh, the line is blue, which means there's no power running through. Uh, we're going to carry on punching our way up here, but more than that, we're actually going to start getting our way through this little uh, divider that we've got here. I actually intend to open this all the way up and hopefully build these tiles in place. We'll have a nice wide uh, access way to the space biome. That would be very, very helpful. Why have we got hydrogen in here? <laughs> How, how have we got hydrogen in here? What even happened there? I, I honestly have no idea how that happened. Uh, I can only assume that somehow when building the heavy watt joint plate, a little blob got up in there and then when we removed this one, uh, that, that, that's it, that, that's, that's gotta be it. That's literally all that I can think. But we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna punch through to space, so whatever, it's all gonna disappear. 10 minutes later and as inevitably is the way Rutherford is up getting scolded in the hydrogen because of course all the obsidian is unbelievably hot, a thousand degrees in places, thousand degrees and I bet that's just let loose a whole bunch of sour gas as well as the hydrogen. Hmm, that's, that's going to be interesting to deal with later. It is dropping in temperature but hmm, that's, that's awkward, very awkward. Now somehow it's gone through the... Ah! Ah! There's a way in up there. Okay, how did that happen? <laughs> and Rutherford saved the day. Beautiful, beautiful. Totally didn't have people walk in here, mess a few things up, like everybody's in the past out in the triage cot and even the, uh, the, the, the heavy watt join plate melted. No, none of that. No, none of that would have happened. What? <laughs> Well, with that little bit of time left to pass, we've actually got one of them up and running. But if we go ahead and look at some of the others here, you can see that their temperatures are also plummeting nicely. Ah, the, the beginning of day autosave coming along to ruin my day just again. Uh, but yeah, as, as we can see, some of them are actually really starting to get up and working here. So that is good. We're starting to get a positive flow of hydrogen. Uh, it hasn't quite made its way up towards the pump yet. We're still waiting on the uh, the pressure sensor here to go above 300 grams. I thought 300 grams would be a good... Pr oh, look, look, there's there's another one, and this one's also turned into a hydrogen producer there. This is great. I thought 300 grams would be a good pressure, uh, as we've got, like, 1,700 outside here, so every time the door opens, we get a little bit of gas going in, rather than losing our super cold gases. Oh, maybe we do want the super cold gases to go out, and we can keep a positive pressure there but that that's going to involve getting up to quite a high pressure if we put this up to 800 uh, and see how that goes it's going to take a little bit of time for that actually uh, to build up here uh, and in fact as you can see when we've not got enough hydrogen to keep it turning over quite yet but i'm hoping that the uh, the excess thermal mass in here will keep the temperature relatively constant i don't like the way that's just spiked up to three degrees there i wonder why that's done that anyway Another thing that I want to do over here, we've got all this hydrogen. It's made this, but no, 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 no. Actually, actually, let's, let's see if you can go and put some materials down. Uh, I also want to just like I don't know, mash away those if I can. I don't, I don't think Franklin being here is such a great idea. Igneous rock being collected, uh, and now if you could leave, great. Okay, is is that good? I don't know because we've also got another rather hot area right here. This is an area that I completely forgotten about. It was doing its job beautifully. Ah, see, there's there's a problem. There's a problem. Planks not come to get them. They come to do the mopping. So who? Who's going to pick up Franklin here? Uh, nobody, because all the all the beds are full. Okay, let's let's swap Kelvin. Actually, we should totally have swapped out uh, Boar there. Like, so, something like that. Oh, man, it's, it's all got really, really hectic all of a sudden. I wasn't expecting it to. 
Oh, we are not ready for shovels. I, 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 maybe at some point, maybe at some point, but we are not quite ready for shovels. Oh, here comes Rutherford doing the job that I really wanted him to do, uh, digging through the top here, scolding Franklin. Uh, is, is anybody coming to get Franklin? Is that... Is that part of what's going on? Mop? No. Uh, Kelvin? Rescuing friend. There we go. Okay, I was I was super worried then that nobody was going to pick her up. Okay, so it, isn't Kelvin also just going to have a bad time now? I don't know. Hopefully there's no super... Da oh man, look at, the, look at this entire area. But hopefully there's no super dangerous areas on the way and we'll be able to... Uh, to sort that out. How are we going to make this cool? I don't know. We've got, we got a bunch of weasels down here. Why are these guys not making it cool around here? I actually don't know. Okay, there we go. Franklin is in bed and then hopefully Calvin is going to be in bed like immediately afterwards uh, and then hopefully all the way up here. Yeah, here we go. We've got ourselves a little bit. Uh, let's put these ones on nine. They are important, but they're not like, oh my gosh, please get this done important. Not like these ones are uh, where we're letting the gases up and flowing out. What do you mean polluted oxygen? Yeah, okay, all right, fine, Wh whatever. We, we need to make a slightly better system for our um, power lines to be passing through here. I don't know why this is a heavy watt joint plate now. There, there used to be, there used to be a, a floor here, and that's just not going to exist now. And whilst we watch this power facility whir up into a self-sustaining mode, I would like to take this moment right here and tell you guys about the people that get me all word up for my day. That's right my patrons scroll up the screen right now you will see a list of names a list of names of the guys and girls that went along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy i made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue on into the future as comfortably as possible i don't need to tell you fans of oxygen not included that this is a very long game and it's thanks to the support of people such as this that i'm able to get that carve that time out of my schedule and make sure that i can produce these episodes so from the very very bottom of my heart Thank you. Thank you so, so much. So I've been watching this for a while now and it bounces back and forth between three, four, sometimes five plants, but we never get more than that. And I'm wondering whether it's the grub grubs that are causing these troubles here. Because uh, they are not not cold creatures. Let's have a look over here. 13 degrees there. Uh, ooh, ooh, that, that, we got that one. We've never, we never, we very rarely get this one up and running. Let's have a look. We are at minus one. There's really no reason why these guys shouldn't be uh, be pumping out here. But as you can see, as the time goes on, yeah, I, I, I wonder whether it's the grub grub. So I'm wondering if we can. Let's go into the automation. Somewhere in here we should have a critter sensor. What is the range of this thing? Is it just the entire room? If it's just the entire room, that would be great. Uh, and then we could go, hey, if you are above zero, lock the door. Or if you're below one, open the door. I think that might be an easier way of doing it. In fact, if it's the whole room, I don't even need to put it there. Let's put it right here uh, and just get a, get a few automation wires going. I don't know whether this is going to work as I expect it to. Ah, uh, not like that, it's not. Okay, we're, we're going to have to deconstruct this door and put a metal one, metal one in. In fact, I mean, not a metal one, an automatic one. Here we go, a mechanized one. Uh, this, this, this has the power. This one doesn't. Oh, and there's all of them growing. All of them growing. Okay, this is this is really good. Really good. We're up to 700 grams pressure in the room here. That That's amazing. We're not quite keeping these running all the time. Uh, th th this one down the bottom very, very rarely turns off. But the others, they're, they're kind of inclined to uh, only really be running half the time at the moment. Uh, and I feel like, actually, we need to have quite a few more because at no point have we had positive power. <laughs> uh, you know, not ideal. Not ideal that's two kilograms of hydrogen this one just just spewed out that that's great that's really great like a backlog of hydrogen is being created here so we, we, we are starting to get ahead of the game i wonder whether we're going to be able to fill up all of these almost definitely actually almost definitely as you can see we've got a uh, uh, near enough a kilogram of hydrogen in every tile down here. Yeah, I, I feel like we're we're slowly building pressure. That's good. That may allow us to build uh, maybe a couple more hydrogen generators down here. I almost also feel like this one maybe needs to move up in that direction, just just for tidiness' sake. Okay, so we built a duplicate checkpoint. Something that I don't use very often, but of course we couldn't couldn't have the door being powered by the crit sensor. If it was opening up, then it would let all the gases in and out. Totally not something that I fell foul of as soon as the door got removed and I went, oh no, this is a terrible idea. 
but yeah, the uh, the checkpoints don't use them very very often, and uh, I, I feel like this is the perfect use case. We probably want to set up a, a oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, below if below one, send the green signal. There's one in there right now, so we're not allowed in and out. Great. I hope this then means I can crank up the priorities on this. I mean, there are no pending deliveries right now, but we also want to say auto wrangle the surplus, I don't know, over two. Uh, and then that should allow us to pick up any extra. Like this guy down here probably needs wrangling at some point and putting somewhere. You know, I, I think I'm just going to attack him. It's a bit savage, but we can make do with the uh, meat. Okay, that, that, that's a good system there. Uh, I also ripped down the, uh, the hydrogen generator and uh, I'm ready to move it up here as soon as Franklin gets out of the bed she kept on uh, out of the triage cot sorry she kept on trying to build this up here and it's uh, still a thousand degrees so she got pretty 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 well burnt I've, I've put her back in the triage cot and we're just waiting it out for now at some point I might ask people to go in at the top like so uh, but for now because oh, that will open it up into a three wide section here uh, and that will allow more gases out more quickly I mean we are down to just milligrams but of course when all the milligrams have gone we're gonna have the micrograms to deal with as well so that, that that's gonna take some time Good news is we've definitely built up a backlog with just two hydrogen generators and a building uh, a little bit of pressure here up to uh, 1,200 grams. Uh, we like to have a 1.6 kilogram atmosphere. So yeah, it's looking good, looking good. Uh, we will definitely want to get the rest of this built before too long just so we can start draining it out. We don't, I don't think we want to have too much in here. I think we want to be running mostly at a lot just so we're not spreading hydrogen throughout the base that 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 can get messy very very quickly uh rutherford you could probably do with spending some time in the bed as well all right great almost everybody's back up to full health though so it, it wasn't too bad oh no what's up with my plants they're too hot they're too hot of course the lack of power means that our cooling system has not been ticking over 40 degree water now oh now, of course, is why I want to build a whole bunch of solar panels over here. Don't worry about the combat. It's just, of course, the grub grub that was down this way. It, it gives us a big, strong combat warning, even though we're the one that put the message out there for combat. Uh, if, if something was attacking me, though, do I get told about that? No, not until they're, they're incapacitated. It's rubbish. Uh, and that, I said something about doing this. Let's do that. <laughs> Okay, the dig is happening. Hopefully Rutherford's going to just go straight onto the build. Okay, great. I don't want to give him a full loop round. Ru Rutherford, where are you going? What? what why? There's, there's stuff right here. Oh, there's not stuff right here. Okay, fair fair enough. Where where are you going for the material? Oh my gosh, this is so far away. And only quarter of a cycle later, Rutherford is back to get this job done. Okay, beautiful. What we really want to see here is the polluted oxygen flowing up and out as fast as possible. We're down into micrograms. What have we got in the middle here? 16. That was 20 a second ago. So there we're doing. We're doing okay. We're moving the the, uh, the gases out, and at some point, it might even be safe to start moving the copper wire up and down here. But I I don't know. I. I I feel like this way leads to more scolded duplicates. Okay, that was the long bit. Let's uh, let's get on and do some more here. I think one of the first things we need to do is to build ourselves a new platform somewhere about here. This will, one, stop the radiation coming down quite as heavy as it is. And we're probably going to end up replacing this uh, with something as well. Because, of course, we don't want to leave any scalding hot materials there. In fact, I'm going to go as far, not, not quite that far, as putting a priority nine on that. Okay, that, that should be fine. We paused, or are uh, we running 
Uh, Franklin, I, I wanted to come see what you were doing here. You're the only one who actually needs the triage cop right now. She came up and she was working on some of the uh, the wires up here during the time lapse, but wasn't getting scolded until she stood in the petroleum, which, you know, that that's nice, I suppose. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to have to wait for her to be done there, but I'm hoping that she finished, yes, the work over it. Why, why do we not have any hydrogen in the line? What, what is this? <laughs> well, it took longer and we had more emergencies than I'm willing to admit, but I think finally we're at the point where we've got the power of the sun backing up our duplicates. We do, of course, have the uh, the hydrogen being produced down here all the time. Uh, about two kilograms at any one point in the system. And indeed, you can see we are backing up here. Just trying to build another one, ready to take advantage of all of that, because we definitely do not want to be overflowing here. This smart battery hooked up directly to the uh, to the heavy wire, telling us that we have got uh, full power. Oh, you know what this one i was about to say the same we're empty of power but no we are there the only problem that we've really got that i can see is that we've got a bit of a polluted water issue here we're we're not making enough but that's okay because we've now got a whole bunch of power in the tank and ready to go the reason that we're not making enough is of course we need to irrigate all of the plants up here and uh they're, they're, they're just about ticking over they're, they're ticking over enough to be able to keep all of this running and with that i am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen I will see you guys next time where hopefully we can actually get into a little bit of nuclear power. It's this, this is what it's all been about, is trying to make everything nice and stable enough so that we can blow up our final uh, uh, final colony over here. We th th This, we've been working on it. We've been working on it for ages. We actually need to put two more steam turbines in there if we can. There is space down below for that. So we'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.